Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and this is part two of my video on the hermetic principle of gender. If you've watched part one, you'll remember that gender is present in all things, and that these masculine and feminine principles are the primary energies of creation or manifestation. So masculine and feminine energies have been really, really politicized lately. And there's a lot of confusion around what masculine is, what feminine is, and how that looks. So in this video, we're just going to give an overview of what these energies are at the spiritual level so that you can start to recognize and, and look for these energies around you. Because when you start to familiarize yourself with these energies, it's a really, really powerful thing. Okay, so to start, just the overall energy of masculine versus feminine. Masculine is known as more of an electric energy, okay? So it's an energy that exerts force, that is a, a more of a giving of an energy, if you think of an electrical current moving through things, and it projects. At, um, the masculine energy is more of an upward and outward moving energy, whereas feminine is known as more magnetic. Okay, it's inward and downward moving energy. It's an attracting energy as opposed to a projecting. Okay, it's more receptive. Masculine energy tends to be fixed, unchanging, eternal, stable, whereas feminine is the dynamic and fluid, changing energy. Okay, both of these complement each other, right? Neither of them is good or bad. They both working together, maintain a harmony, okay? Um, we think of masculine as being more active or doing, and feminine being more, you could say passive, but being more being or in the presence, holding space. Masculine energy acts on things. Masculine energy is going to be more managing, controlling, directing, or creative from without, whereas feminine energy is going to be more creative from within, okay? It's going to, we think of it as more the, the creative, the artistic, the, the generating or producing type of energy. And then finally, masculine energy is considered dematerializing, and that can take a couple of forms. It can take the form of just breaking things apart, right, or deconstructing them, or it can take the form of spiritualizing, right, and so that's why we have the symbol of the masculine as being an upward pointing triangle. Feminine energy, on the other hand, we consider to be materializing or becoming embodied, grounding, right, so we think of Mother Earth, um, and therefore, the, the feminine symbol is the downward pointing triangle. It symbolizes this downward moving energy coming into um, manifestation, right? Coming into materialization um, or also generating energy, okay? So those are the basic concepts of, of the very, very abstract idea of masculine and feminine. Let's now take a look at just a few ways that this can start showing up in a more human context. Keep in mind that we all, whether or not you identify as male or female, whether or not you have a male or female body, we are all working with both these energies, okay? So when we talk about the masculine mind versus the feminine mind, this is something that we all have both, right? And so it's a matter of being able to recognize these and ultimately having both these mental abilities working in harmony. Okay, so the masculine mind is our mental capacity, it's the logic, it's the reason, right? Using reason and logic. And it's, it's often what we think of as a head-centered person, right? Somebody who's in their head, that's going to be more the masculine mind. Um, and able to really kind of take things apart mentally, right? Again, remember, it's dematerializing. We can break things apart with our masculine mind so as to understand them. 
The feminine mind, on the other hand, tends to be more emotional, more intuitive. So this is drawing on the intuition, the ability to just sense and feel things, right? So we have the thinking mind, which is more masculine, versus the feeling mind, which is more feminine. Or we can also think of it as head-oriented versus heart and gut-oriented, right? Masculine versus feminine. Again, we have both of these, each one of us. Physically, in the body, a masculine body tends to be more hard and firm and strong, and feminine body tends to be softer and more flexible, right? Remember the dynamic flexibility that's more feminine, you know, whereas the rigidity tends to be more masculine. We can extend this to vision. When we think of masculine vision, we think of focus, okay? Masculine vision is highly, highly focused, able to really zero in on things, um, which is also associated with goal setting, uh, very detail oriented, like seeing the trees in the forest, right? Being able to break down the forest and see all the individual trees or even the individual leaves, even breaking that further down to the individual cells, right? Or the atoms, the particles. Whereas the feminine vision is holistic, okay? So feminine vision is able to see the big picture, seeing the forest rather than the trees. And it's also known as diffuse awareness, of, is being just aware of everything that's happening and being very, very aware of context. And this is really important because if we think of vision as being able to envision, envision things, which is part of manifestation, right? This is why we need both, because the feminine can see the whole picture, whereas the masculine can see all the little details. And this is as an example of how this can work, right? I, I've noticed this in dogs. <laughs> I've had a couple of pairs of dogs where one was male and one was female in my life. And I've noticed this behavior pattern in both of them. Uh, so I think it's pretty universal. So um, in, in this case, we had dogs and it was out in the country. So they were unleashed and just hanging out, right? And so what I'd noticed was the female dog would always be aware of things out in the distance. She'd be always station herself as a lookout. And so she would see something out on the edge of the property, um, maybe some line workers working on the electric lines, right? And she'd be like, oh my gosh, there's something there. Honey, go check it out, right? <laughs> and so she would alert the male dog and he would go trot over and check it out. And he would decide, he would discern, right? Whether this was a dangerous thing that he had to deal with or if it really wasn't anything to be worried about. But that was the masculine and feminine um, energies at work in these animals, right? The female had this diffuse awareness, and she was always the first to figure out, well, something's unusual there. Something's, something needs to be checked out. But she'd call on him because he had the more focused awareness and was able to break things down and discern, you know, if something was needed to be dealt with or not, okay? The thing about masculine versus feminine vision is that when you're focused on something, you can't see the rest of it, right? So it's excluding. And so it's very, very common right now in our culture to really focus on things and take them out of context. We see that so often on social media or even on the news, really zeroing in on a specific incident or something somebody said and taking it out of context. Well, without the context, you can draw, jump to incredible conclusions about something or somebody without really understanding what the big picture is. And so when we're following the news or we're following things on social media, this is why it's super important to dig a little bit deeper and to try to understand, okay? So one way that this, you know, these two modes of being work, these two energies work within people is understanding each other in conversations, right? Um, so the masculine way of being is to be 
a little it tends to be more polarized right because you're seeing only a part of the picture and so there's this tendency to look at this part of the picture and defend it right um which sometimes can be a good thing but if you can't see the whole picture it's really difficult to come to any kind of understanding okay um whereas the feminine vision tends to be more holistic and is able to see the whole thing but sometimes she's not very discerning the masculine tends to be more discerning more judging whereas the feminine tends to be more accepting of everything right um it neither one of these is good or bad it's simply it, it depends on context whether it actually ends up being good or bad for whoever it is that you're you're looking at uh, okay so masculine and feminine energies also both have protective qualities to them the masculine protective quality tends to be more remember he breaks things down so if you think of the sword or clearing things away clearing away anything that doesn't belong there that's a more masculine type of protection feminine protection tends to be um more like a vessel right being held holding or encompassing and both of them can kind of work as a shield right putting oneself in between Okay, this has been just a really brief overview of the basics of masculine and feminine energy and what these energies actually look like. To get the most value out of this video, I really encourage you, rather than just going on to something else when the video ends, to really start to observe and notice within yourself, within other people, in the world around you. Use your masculine mind and start to break down and observe what qualities you're seeing okay what's showing up you know the, the energies that you're seeing is it showing up as masculine is it showing up as, as feminine how and why and in future videos we're going to take a look at uh, how these energies masculine and feminine shows up in positive ways and negative ways and because that is the next step in awareness is really being aware of these energies so hit that subscribe button below because awareness of these energies and how they're working together is really key in first of all avoiding some of the conflict that can show up when these energies are, are unbalanced and then also learning to use these energies in a balanced and positive way to generate great things in your life and, and, and for other people as well thank you so much for watching and remember you were born to be free